I, I, first question, is that the biggest hit you've ever had, Steve? Yeah, by a long way, unfortunately. It was about 37 Gs, so it was, um, you know, it was just unavoidable by the time I realised what was going on. It was, um, I was sitting in his back seat. I mean, the car's done its job. It's probably seen its last race possibly, but it did its job, didn't it? The car was great. The safety equipment we wear was fantastic, and I can't say enough about the marshals because when I went to get out, there was fire on the right. I couldn't get out there. I tried to get the passenger door, there was fire there, and they managed to go and put it all out. And, and the crew as well, I have to thank a few blokes from, from the other teams. They jumped the pit wall with their own fire extinguishers and put the fire out. So, you know, it was, um, it was good work by them, you know. Um, from a racing perspective, I guess you just jump back on, but from a human perspective, is, it, is this easy to get over? Yeah, it is. It just, you qualify further up the grid, you don't have the risk of crashing into people. So it's a, it's a problem that you have when we have a bad qualifying session like we did. It, um, it doesn't affect you mentally because it's just one of those things that, you know, you just shake off and say, well, whoever was in the, that position would have done the same thing. It's just nothing to do about it. So unfortunately, we'll uh, have to go back and regroup and get the car going again and go to Winton.